Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn about how to work with filter function, keep filters and remove filters function. And also, we are trying to understand what is the difference between this filter function and keep filters functions and when to use filter function and keep filters function. First, I will import some data for this analysis okay for this i will not import any external data source i will just use the internal data source of power bi so this under this help tab go to examples sample data load sample and here we'll select financials and click on load now your table has been imported okay in this table I have this sales column and some other columns are there also I have this year column country all these things so just change this year column to no don't summarize okay now first start with filter function so as name suggested filter that means from our data set we are going to filter some rows based on some conditions so just write the filter function create new measure keep some name filter underscore measure equal to uh, this filter function always work within the some other DAX function just like calculate or calculate table. So I'm going to use here calculate. Calculate within the bracket put sum of I'm going to use this cells column close the bracket comma and just press shift enter filter and within the filter function, you need to pass the table name first, then the filter expression. So your table name is financials, comma. Then I'm going to use some filter expression. That means the filter condition. So let me put year equal to 2013. So your measure has been created just save that okay now uh, before creating one report let us create another measure with key filters so that side by side i can explain you what is the difference between these two functions so first click on new measure and write key filter underscore measure equal to same as the filter function you need to use some calculate function within that calculate just create sum of cells comma and write key filter okay here also you need to pass the expression only okay so i will write here equal to 2013 now close the bracket now see the difference between these two measure so for the filter measure we need to provide the table name then the filter expression and for the key filter you need to provide the filter expression first that means when we are using this filter function it will search for the condition this year 2013 for each row of this table. But for key filter functions, it will try to preserve the filter condition on this year column and not overwritten by anything. Okay, so this is one of the difference. Now, let us find out what is the result we are getting from these two measures. Just create one small report. Let us select year. 
and select the table view. Then select filter measure, key filter and the cells value also side by side. So you have a small report, but you don't find any difference. This filter measure of key filter measure. Then what is the difference? Already we know one difference between this filter measure and key filter measures. So this filter function will go each and every row of this table to apply the filter conditions and key filter function will preserve the filter conditions on this column. That means key filter function can improve the performance of this report. Okay, But when to use filter function and when to use key filter functions. There is one difference. For this filter criteria, normally the expression is Boolean expression or the table expression. So in this case, always we are getting output as Boolean. Okay, so this is a Boolean expression. But when we are, we are going to use some table expression, at that time, key filter function will not work on that area. At that time, we need to use filter function only. So if you go to Microsoft documentation, you can find out that it's recommended to you pass filter arguments as Boolean expression whenever possible. It's because import model tables are in in-memory column stores and they are explicitly optimized to efficiently filter functions in this way. So there are many restrictions applied to this Boolean expression when we are not able to use this Boolean expression as the filter argument. For example, we cannot compare columns to other column, cannot reference a measure, cannot use nested calculate functions and cannot use functions that scan or return a table. So that means you will need to use table expression for more complex filter requirements. That means whenever we need to use this table expression at that time we need filter function instead of key filter functions. I'll show you one example how this table expression is look like. So just create one measure with some table expression. Here you can observe we are using the same calculate function and sum of the cells function and within the filter condition we are using this financial tables and this is the table expression. Here we are not using something equal to. Whenever we are using some equal to it is converting to the boolean expression. But here I am doing something different. I am creating sum of this profit which is greater than this value. So this is compared to the other expression this is considering as a complex expression. Now if you save this so let us test how this complex expression is working. Just create one table view put year profit and this complex expression. Here you can observe I am getting this value only for 2014. For 2013, I am not getting any value because in this filtered expression, I have used this value which is more than this value. I hope you understand what is the difference between filter function and key filter function and when to use filter function and this key filter functions. Now we have the last filter function that is a remove filter function that is very simple just click on new measure so just give a name of this measure remove filter underscore measure equal to calculate sum of sales value comma remove filters Within the bracket, you need to pass this table name or column name. So I will pass this column name here. Close the bracket and save the measure. Okay, now check 
how it is working? Here, cells value. Where is the cell? Cells value and this remove filter. And it's clearly we can observe as I have used year column. So that means it is always showing the total value, not filter filtering with the year column. Now, one more thing I want to add here. These functions are not supported for use in direct query method. I hope you know what is the connection method, import method, direct query method. So for direct query mode, we cannot use this type of functions when we use in the calculate columns or row level security rules. So from this video, I hope you understand these three functions filter, key filters, remove filters. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and provide your comment. Thank you. Thanks for watching.